Good afternoon, fellow YouTube viewers. Previously on the New South Wales and Trainland Dog Day series, I talked about the G sets. Everyone knows the G sets had a lot of Tangaras with, of course, had toilets in them and with the seating in them, pretty much. So I'll show you a picture now before the before we start up. Before the intro starts. I mean, sorry. And today I will be talking about. Oscars, the hate set Oscar cards. Hey, good more, good afternoon, YouTubers. Belch94 here with a video today. Um, today I'll be talking about New South Wales Trailing Oscars, aka the H sets. They were outer suburban car cars that pretty much replaced the G sets, running on the on the um, Central Coast Newcastle line, Blue Mountains and the South Coast line. So they pretty much replaced the G sets. So the G sets were built by UGL Rail in Broadmeadow. City Rail back in the time. They're oper operated now by New South Wales Trailing. These sets operate service from Sydney to Hamilton, Newcastle, Springwood, and Kiama. The first entered service in December 2006 and the last in December 2012. They are formed into 55 four carriage sets. The H sets are the evolution of the fourth generation Millennium train but are more suited for longer distances. My opinion, they absolutely suck. They're not comfortable. They're not really that comfortable, to be honest. The layout and features of the Oscars are similar to the predecessor of the G sets. The Oscars released su released some V sets to allow service to be built up to eight carriages, and the nineteen the nineteen seventy seven built DCM and DCT carriages to be withdrawn from service. The similarities between the Oscars and the Millennium trains are, which are will be in the I get to the suburban series is that um, improve external destination boards, internal destination boards, displaying stopping patterns, digital voice announcements, security cameras. Oscars also have additional features to increase comfort for longer journeys they operate. These include high back seating covered with durable vandal proof woolen matique fabric with padded headrest. I'm sorry, I'm not that comfortable. Retractable footrest, luggage racks, and wheelchair accessible toilet. So really the only thing the good thing to have is the wheelchair accessible toilet. Everything else is pretty lame if you ask me. Wheelchair seating is available in the vestibules, while three times two seating is provided in the upper and lower deck sections. Carriage interiors were designed by Transport Design International. Oscars include several new safety features. The doors on the older rolling stocks, such as the V sets. Are, are all unlocked at every station, even short platforms. V sets have doors that must be slid open for aligning and boarding, and G sets had, have push buttons. But however, on the H sets, the guard is able to select the number of doors to be open, open at at a station. This feature is aimed at preventing instances where passengers may fall from the carriage when stopped at short platforms. The H sets have been fitted with Del Delana. Dell Niner SP couplings compatible with the Millennium trains and Hunter rail cars. They are, they are also able to absorb the impact of a collision, as you saw. I think it was H51 or 52 the other day that got into a collision, collided with a car. And the anti climbers on the H sets will reduce the force of impact. The trains will also have a different body design. So, what I'll say is the fleet numbers. Well, I'll quickly tell you the fleet, fleet numbers, how they are. So they were constructed and withdrawn from, they were into service during 2006-2012. Built by UGL, you know that. Um, for, they were put in, yep, uh, they have, the fleet numbers is OD6901 to 
OD 69.99, and then there's I believe some then carried on from the G set fleet. So there was OD 68.43, OD 68.54, then there's ON 59.01 to ON 59.49, and then there's 58.21 to 58.26. They're the motor cars. ONL 59.51 to 59.99 and 58.71 and 58.76 are the motor cars with the toilet. So it it is traction system by Mitsubishi Electric with three fat face induction motors. Um, what else? Uh, that's about the delivery, the initial order was for 41 cars and the contract was awarded in February 2003. The second order for the 81 cars were awarded in April 2005 and the third in March 2009 for 72 cars. Increased to 74 in March 2010 and 99 in January 2011. The Oscars were late in starting service as CRI wanted to test the trains thoroughly after Manelium trains had a trouble introduction. On August 5th, 2006, H3 was open for inspection to the public as part of the Central Station cere cent cent oh, Centenary Celebrations. Blah, blah. On, April 2000, on the 8th of April 2008, H sets were introduced on the Central, Central Coast and Newcastle Line operating in 8-car formation between Sydney and Wyong. However, they have been used for Newcastle services. Hay sets were the first rolling stock to be used on the Epping to Chatswood rail line, operating a shuttle service between February to 25th of February 2009 to 10th of October 2009. Forecast sets, the forecast sets operated on the line exclusively during the shuttle phase until it was integrated into the Northern Line services. An additional order for 72 cars were confirmed on March 27, 2009. For Forming eight additional forecast sets. The 2010 state budget increased this order to 74. The additional car cars will become spares. The first train from this order entered service on the 18th of October 2010. In response to the passenger feedback, these carriages featured an additional 20 millimeters of padding on the seats, backing, and lengthened seat space to increase comfort. The final hay set was delivered to City Rail in December 2012 along with the spare driving driving trailer AD6850. So that's pretty much the H sets, but I'll tell them what they do now in services. And I don't think there's any been written off since they're all running except for VT of um, H51 or 2. I believe that's temporary getting written off while it's getting repaired. So, operated by New South Wales Trailing in the city on the South Coast Line, Bondi Junction, Martin Place, and Central to Port Campbell and Kayama. And there's also the Central Coast Newcastle Line, Central to Gosford, Wyong, and Hamilton, Newcastle. I used to go to Newcastle, but they closed down the Newcastle Station, which I think is wrong because all they're doing is wasting time. To be honest, if they're going to fight in court, they should just have the train line open, have services going. But I think it's, only, it's, it's hurting the economy, what they're doing now. They're really just damaging the economy. Then operated by Sydney Trains on the T4 Eastern Suburbs and Illawarra Line. Bondi Junction to Waterfall, man, ma, but mainly goes on to, only to Hertzville and Sutherland occasionally. So I'm guessing that's when, a, if a T set's out or, um, yeah, the T set's getting repaired. I'll say more Oscars will be doing those lines soon because the 10 girls are going in for a refurb to make them more modern destination boards, cameras, etc. like that. So that'll be in the new inter when I get to the Sydney suburban stop, stop video. T1 is the North Shore, Northern and Western line. Emu plans to North Sydney with some services operating to Blacktown and Hornsey via Macquarie Park. The first and fourth car of the New South Wales trailing services are designed as quiet carriages. <laughs> Thanks, Kat, for touching the computer. In May, 2000, in May 2014, the state government announced its intention to purchase 520 new carriages for the New South Wales train link in the city network with deliveries to commence in 2019. 
Today's tribes will release will release at uh, will release at least some of the hate sets from the intercity services, allowing, allowing them to be transferred to Sydney to replace the remaining assets. With the new inner cities, I think I will. Th I think that they they should be built here, and they're a disgrace. They're not getting built here, and I'm disappointed. But hopefully, hopefully, if Lamb hopefully if Lamb can get in, or something like that, we can get for them to cancel that contract, and that contract needs to be cancelled and have it built here in Australia. It needs to be built here in Australia. That's how we're going to boost the economy. The simple things like that going to boost the con economy for the country. So that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll put a slideshow of some Oscars towards the end of this video. So I'm going to say bye for now. And also, n tomorrow's video will be on the U-boats, the U-sets. So that will start tomorrow. We're getting, to, we're getting pretty much towards the end of this series. Then, and then following that would be 3801. In the final episode of the series, I'll be talking about the new intercities, what I, my opinions on them are. So I'm going to end this video. Bye for now. Have an all great day and enjoy enjoy the, enjoy the slideshow. Bye for now.